today we are going to have a different session you know a session to understand the real meaning of ramayan so all of you know ramayan do we have anyone over here who doesn't know ramayan has not heard about ram sita lakshman bharat shatrugan so everybody has listened to them yes 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 yeah okay so see let me uh, introduce myself first and then let me take up where we were what we were doing in all these days what was a course of journey and now what we are doing today okay so my name is shraddha and uh, i'm from infosys and i practice meditation from a pretty uh, long time from since a decade and we have a meditation group over there i teach meditation there to everyone and many people have got benefited from a small to big extent almost nearly 5000 folks and we are extending this to atika family over here uh over here we started with mindfulness where and you know we we practice mindfulness uh during you know uh, how should we eat food how should we sleep how should we talk okay how should we think about ourselves how should we understand our feelings our emotions etc while i am uh, doing any of the task i am becoming aware of myself okay i'm becoming aware of my emotions my feelings and aware of other feelings also i came to know then i went more deeper and in this in this course of journey i understood okay i have something called as sanskars i have something called as my karmic accounts depending on which others are reacting towards me and i also react right we understood that then there was a session on let go how can i let go the things how can i build my new sanskars how can i build up my new habits and how can i let go the old habits so last time we had that session we saw a story on karma we we saw a video on how to let go physical things and then slowly how to let go into this uh into our daily uh, into our brain we let go our old feelings our old emotions our old memories our old thoughts and even let go our old habits right so that was our last session so today is a session where and i am going to say you about the whole ramayan in a different perspective which you all will understand and listen and we are going to bring all these things whatever we have discussed into this particular uh, thing okay called as ramayan how the things evolved and how can uh, the story of ramayan fit into our daily life so from here we'll understand what we have to let go what are the enemies how can we gain strength what we have in us okay all those things we can have a beautiful discussion on the same okay so uh so let's start with dashrat now who is dashrat so pardon me if i have some spelling mistakes okay who is dashrat so dashrat is the father of ram lakshman okay and husband of kekai sumitra and kaushalya now dashrath means somebody who is a rathi so we all are rathis so we all are driving our body okay body of what das das means 10 body of 10 horses so what are these 10 horses which we are driving every day okay so many of you might have seen this picture okay that somebody is driving nose mouth ears right do we see or we see we see that figure nose mouth ears tongue okay and 
our skin right so we have to control all these things so anyone who is able to control these five sense organs okay i am going to eat what is good for my health i am going to listen to only those things those positive things which is good for me and uh, which will give me good sleep while i'm sleeping i'm not going to listen to unwanted gossips and that's a story about ramayan okay the whole story starts from there actually okay and i'm going to speak good things okay and that goes with skin also so these are the five sense organs which i have to control and i have five vices which i have to control you know like uh calm growth low mo ahankar we say that in one language or else what i say is okay i have to not be jealous of anyone i should control my anger okay i'm not saying to become free from anger okay that's a quite a tougher term but yes we have to have control over anger and we had session on that on how to control our anger keeping a pause in between finding out different alternatives instead of shouting writing it on the messages okay uh, that all these ways you know seeing a third view seeing from 10 years what will happen having a bigger vision we had a session all day on that okay mo what is mo mo is attachment now, to see attachment is a very big term but to understand something attachment is something like the love which is giving pain okay so i am saying attachment is love which is giving me pain okay so i used to say to my husband why are you late in office why are you working so hard please come on time we all need you okay so that is giving me pain so that is an attachment but then it changed to another form who oh, you are becoming so late in office okay you have so much of work can i help you with something what should i do for you right now i am not thinking about myself i am thinking about the person that side right so that is love but when i am thinking only about myself in the process of love it becomes attachment okay so the love which is giving me pain is actually not love it is attachment okay so jealous anger attachment calm growth low mo now what is mo greediness okay now what is greediness ego hmm? so i'm thinking i need this also i need one ice cream i need two ice creams i need both to eat okay i i i have a bungalow now i need one more big bungalow now it is not a problem thinking big having bigger visions is absolutely fine but in this vision i am including everyone i am including my families a better fulfillment i'm using the better fulfillment of my employees i'm thinking the life of the people around me the people about uh, uh, around my country and everything and i'm thinking i have a vision to improve everybody's life okay so that i'm going to build up a big empire okay so now that greediness uh okay the term greediness changes okay the same thing i want big i want a big company no i want a big company for to help others to help my employees see the same thing has a different mentality altogether now when you think about such things what happened is the entire universe supports you to grow because now it is not about only yourself it is about all the people around us okay so so oh, only that that's a different in our vision and ego everybody knows okay that uh, i am so knowledgeable okay that is the biggest ego what anybody can have 
okay and we will understand the story wherein the same thing happens so so our dashrat okay our main character one of the main characters are dashrat uh, was able to control all these things okay so that's why he had a beautiful empire so how i am inside so i am outside if inside i am able to control myself outside i'll be i will be able to control others right if inside i'm not able to control myself my thoughts and i wish my employees my house people my children follow me that's why it's very tough right first if i am able to control my thoughts i am able to control myself then naturally everybody else outside will follow me okay it's very very simple okay so dashrath uh, was a rathi like we all folks and he was able to control all these things and that's why he was having a very good rajya and in this process he also had three attainments now what are these three attainments anybody can they say me who are the three wives of dashrath yeah what three wives of dashrath one is kekai okay so uh, so if kk means everything is there with him sampanta okay he has all the things with him now i am trying to inculcate the mindfulness what we had learned in a story form in the form of a story which we all already know stories ramayan how mindfulness will work in our daily life through ramayan okay today we are going through that okay so kekai means once i'm having control on all these things okay i'm not gossiping i am not greedy okay i don't have ego anger i have a control on it i am not jealous or i don't do a comparison okay i have a control on all my sense organs then i have all the things with me okay whatever i want i i want a car i want a bungalow okay naturally i'll get all the things kaushalya okay i am going to have all the desired skills with me for me bec becoming a skill set skillful person is very easy you know i can learn any language any tool because I, all these things are in control of mine i can spend my life in learning okay and the third is sumitra sumitra that means i am having good friends around and i am thinking good about everyone around okay so even though i have people thinking bad about me still i am thinking good about them okay or i don't care about them because i have a bigger vision a bigger plan ahead i am in the workflow in a process of making something big okay so that is much more important than these few persons in my in uh in my area who are against me or who who talks bad about me now okay now every person will have somebody in, in his locality who is thinking bad okay whether it is our prime minister or whether it is a, a company boss or something there should be some person who is thinking bad okay so take them along with you and go ahead right so i'm so so when i am becoming a dashrath i am having these three skill sets i am having these three attainments and then i have ram vivek with me okay what is vivek intellectual and that is when people come and listen to you okay come on you please tell me you advise me what should i do for this okay lakshman so what is lakshman can anybody think what can be lakshman be 
can anybody think what lakshman can be i'm having always focus i'm having the concentration okay i am i'm having my man on the lakshya okay why because it's easy for me it's very easy for me to do tyag okay if somebody says me uh, come on uh, we are going to sleep for less hours we'll get up early in the morning and do jogging okay no problem i will do it because i have control on all these things no problem okay so that alasya goes off because i have control on all these things okay so i have ram intellectual with me i have lakshman then i have bharat bharat is sampoorn samarpan that means if i am taken up some task okay i will do i'll complete that task on the perfect way and come back okay i will not leave a task in between i am going to complete the task okay shatrughan i don't have any enemies okay and that is when sita enters in my life who is a symbol of royalty purity you know uh, people say that you know i'm very happy to be around you you have so pure vibes your vibes are strong so positive you know that i always like to stick around you right so sita enters your life but then in such scenario i should be careful about something and what i should be careful about i should be careful about mantra now who is this mantra who can be mantra be who can mantra be is this story boring maricha ya yeah, mantra maricha mantra is pardarshan okay or gossiping okay or i have some friends okay who tell me hey see that person he is trying to compete with you he is like that he is like this okay some person who are jealous of me and they try to you know tell me something wrong okay so i have gossiping i have some some friends with me who are behaving good in front of me but in front of me they are doing some mischief who are putting who are buttering me okay because i i, I am such a nice person okay hey you are so nice but see that person is not supporting you you are thinking good about this person but the other person still doesn't uh, think good about you why are you thinking good about that person if he has given you if he has done something bad to you you should also take a revenge to him right such kind of thoughts is been brought by this mantra this is called as gossiping okay i have some friends who are putting some ill thoughts on me so what happens when these ill thoughts enters into my mind okay three person goes away from me okay first is vivek that means my intellectual my intellectual goes off okay so ram goes out of my life okay ram goes out of my life okay and then i have no concentration on my lakshya now okay so lakshman goes out of my life and finally sita leaves me that is purity and royalty 
my sign okay of taking good to everyone just one small thing that i was gossiping okay i have few friends who were buttering me who were gossiping with me and because of that the entire Ra ramayan took into picture now does this happen with my life also am i involved in this if i'm involved in this then how will i concentrate on myself how will i become self aware that i am becoming angry here okay i have an attachment with somebody okay how can i uh, i understand well it's it's very easy for us to understand others mistakes but it is very tough to understand my own mistake okay to improve to improve daily every day in the morning i am opening my eyes to improve myself and to gain more happiness right so that constant improvement is involved in myself but that constant improvement will never come to me when i am involved in parchintan okay what that person is doing what that person has done today what my teammate has done what i have done how much work my teammate has done how much work i have done right so that that is what happened with uh, uh with our dashrath okay so the the three people left his his kingdom away ram lakshman and sita and while they were leaving okay then sukarma i forgot the name sukarma was his name or what was his name he came and he told ram ram i will leave you till the bank of the river okay come i will leave you to the bank of the river and then he says i want to come along with you so mitra or sukarma i woke i forgot his name so ram told no 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 you have to stay here stay here with dashrath and his family stay here with my father sumant yeah yeah thank you yeah thank you for listening yeah stay, stay here with my family okay i am going by so my intellectual will go off my lakshman laksh se man chala gaya sita has gone from my mind because of my friends around me or because of my mobile if i'm seeing something wrong something gossiping so yesterday i watched a serial with everyone so today morning while i was meditating the serial was coming in front of me so i told my parents and everyone i was not able to meditate because the serial was in front of me so they asked me that you have to improve on your meditation because serial is affecting you more your meditation is not strong i told you are correct <laughs> Uh, okay so sumant sumant is nothing but our good karmic account so we can still be on track because our good karmic accounts are still there with us though vivek goes off though lakshman goes off though sita goes off from us but what what good vibrations we had for others what good vision we had for others and what goodness we want to do for everyone that still remains so suman stayed in the palace okay and he, and because he stayed in the palace ram came the intellectual came back okay after doing its task for understanding everything and again it was right on task so always you know good karmic accounts that is doing good to others helping good to others always act as a savior to us in bad and needed times sometimes we think i have helped this person or why should i help them helping doesn't mean that you have to even help them physically through some uh, money or something helping means having good wishes for somebody that is also helping okay giving good knowledge to somebody giving good advice to somebody or uh, giving seeing you people are getting changed if you if i'm saying to somebody don't gossip i don't like gossiping okay we should not gossip it's bad okay seeing me the other person stopped gossiping and i know he is gossiping 
but still in my mind i am feeling that i know he's gossiping but still he's a nice person i know he's gossiping but he will soon come into the right path that is the biggest help i'm helping somebody okay not having ill feeling for others even they are doing ill in front of me because i am raising a hope in them that you are good and you will change because everybody has some issues and especially with children okay if to the children you say that you are fit for nothing you are not good then what will happen ha huh? you are not good you are fit never we should say all these things okay i know you are very good i know you have done this so that encouragement will bring them into the right path so our good karmic accounts will stay okay so suman stayed here back and that is when uh, they went uh, now entire story can be told like this okay in the entire story we, we can see the names and with the names we can find out what is the quality okay we uh, somebody has left what is the quality has gone and what is the quality has come because of which the ramayan next thing came but after that okay when uh, ram lakshman sita were in one vas uh, we had uh, ravan's uh, uh, sister coming into picture okay and she came and she told uh, she's giving a distraction and what distraction she say marry me okay i'm beautiful so she is giving a distraction but you know we have both vivek we have lakshman who is tyagi again okay, who knows what to do what not to do and along with sita who is pure having good feelings okay and uh, so 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 nobody gets distracted no we cannot uh, we are not uh, Mm, they they don't fall in her uh, trap, but what they do is, they did a wrong thing. Okay, these three people, Ram, Lakshman, Sita, they they uh, they cut her nose. Okay, so when while they cut her nose, okay, they have given her bad vibrations. They have done her apman. Okay, misbehave with her. So, if I'm misbehaving with others in my team, okay, if I'm shouting at others, if I'm showing them down, what will happen? They will try to take revenge from me. Okay, they'll have some bad feeling for me. so i am having all these good qualities i am intelligent i am concentrating on my work i have royalty i have pure feeling for others but in some occasion in one occasion also if i am misbehaving with somebody okay then they will have certain kind of revenge bad feeling for me and that is when i have to fight with so many people okay ravan will come into picture ravan's brothers will come into picture now who is ravan ravan is somebody who is having 10 heads okay so now imagine i with 10 hands okay thank you samant uh so so ravan is having 10 heads now what happens if somebody is having 10 heads can can we control the thoughts in one head okay now if i have 10 heads and my each head says that today i want to eat pizza one head is saying one tongue is saying tomorrow uh, one more and one more tongue is saying that i want to eat puri sabji and something else okay so i told you that dashrath was a person who has control on his eyes ears nose mouth that means his thoughts five sense organs now imagine i am not able to control one head what about 10 heads how can i control them 
right so imagining ravan with 10 heads is actually it is not the strength it is the weakness that means i have more knowledge so right now if you see everyone has more knowledge okay everyone everybody knows and with this mobile phone in the in my hand i can get the knowledge of anything in this world around okay so i have knowledge okay i have bhakti a lot i have lot of temples ravan was great bhakti he, uh, okay he was the biggest bhakt of lord shiva and uh, you know i go to temples i do so much thing okay and i have a big empire so nowadays we have a, a royal car okay we have all the scientific gadgets with us so everything whatever we have is equivalent to ravan because i am egoistic of what i am having with me the biggest thing in this world okay because i am knowledgeable okay because i have so much wealth so much gadget around me and that is when ego comes into the picture and when with all these things i don't worry about other people okay when i stop worrying about other people okay when i am always think i am right other people are wrong okay i am always right and other people are wrong that is when the shravan is into our consideration okay that is when ravan in, is into our consideration we we have this 10 heads in our mind so our 10 heads are nothing but kaam krodh lo mo ahankar and those five voices okay the same thing what i we spoke about the first time okay and once i control all these things i become like dashrath now how what did ram do okay ram was very intelligent so to kill ravan he didn't bring big big people he brought small small people he brought monkeys okay he brought bhallus bears because ego is the main villain not other things okay his ego his ankar was made this way small people came with ram to help him to win over over such a big thing ahankar so similarly okay to come out of ahankar to come out of ego one small knowledge point okay one realization small things beautifying in small things happiness in small things understanding the importance of small things and that is what ram was trying to teach ravan right from day one when he was sending all his angat and other people to his darbar you know that you have to give importance to small people understand small moments understand small happiness and that is what mindfulness is all about i am in this present moment i have to enjoy that i have to enjoy small small things in my life i have to enjoy small people around me i have to enjoy my children doing small mischiefs when i am not enjoying this present moment in my life i am not in a mindful state and then you have to understand what is going around with you right so this was the the explanation of ramayan in a mindful way i hope you all liked it now we will try to do meditation on the same thing so how was the story of ramayan was it good okay uh, we can elaborate it more okay there are many 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 good points on ramayan on the same way as well okay but the main point over here what i want to say is first is distractions and gossiping okay so if we are away from these two things and thank you bhavika if we are away from these two things surely there will be a point where you know we all can become like ram 
surely will become like ram one day okay if we are away from these things in our life but or dashrat mm. okay but very important point is that ki now we are doing meditation now meditation is the main part of this entire course because meditation gives us power to be to come out of our stage now think if i am very low okay if i am uh, not feeling good because my entire day i was very stressful or i was very tired or i did not have time to do anything or i i did so many things for everyone but nobody appreciated me right the meditation gives me the power to come out of this negative thing okay if i am not doing meditation i am continuing my stage of being low okay so let so let us not miss this meditation let us bring ourselves to an elevated self a self elevated self and then go to our next task that is now till now i was working in an office so i was doing the role of an employee employee but now i'm shifting from an employee to a mother or a father or any other a brother or a sister any other role okay so in this role i need energy and i need to change myself right a complete shift is there in viewing people now meditation will give me that power to change my role efficiently and to be in the present okay so that's why we meditate please don't miss this meditation um and i hope mindfully we will understand what is gossiping what is distraction and become like ram so you all are able to listen to the music yes shraddha okay great i'm concentrating between my eyes at the center of my forehead where my soul resides i'm taking a deep breath inside and then slowly leaving it outside Again, I'm taking a deep breath inside, filling my lungs to fullness, and then slowly leaving it outside. Again, I'm taking a deep breath inside, counting till five: one, two, three, four, five. and i keep leaving it outside i'm relaxing my upper part of the body i'm relaxing my eyes my nose my mouth my ears my throat my face and my brain relax calm quiet now coming lower i'm relaxing my lungs my heart my hands tip of my fingers relax relax relax
any pain point i have i'm just focusing on that pain point and giving a healing energy to that point now coming to the lower part of my body my stomach my kidney my large intestine small intestine my lower back my thighs my knees my legs my ankle the tip of my toe i'm stretching the tip of my toe as far as possible and relax 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 i'm giving peaceful vibrations to my entire body to all the parts of my body and i'm healing my body anywhere in my complete body i have any pain points i'm just healing that i'm just thinking the energy rays from above from almighty source is coming and healing me slowly i am moving away from this world to a place of self enrichment higher up in a higher plane where there is serenity calmness full of mountains and clouds I'm just sitting on the tip of a mountain and seeing this beautiful clouds right in front of me. The beautiful scene has a majestic feeling in myself, a feeling of compassion, a feeling of self-elevation, a feeling of love. a feeling of happiness positivity purity relaxation i'm just seeing this clouds the moving clouds they are slowly moving without any tension slowly moving like my thoughts in my head just moving no destination just moving from one point to another i am also just thinking and my just thoughts are just moving passing by i'm just observing them I have got a control on my thoughts now because I'm not reacting. I'm just observing them. I am more powerful than my thoughts because I'm just observing them. It's up to me to pick on what is important and what is unnecessary. what is gossiping 
I know what to pick and what not to pick. I have that intelligence. I have that concentration. I have that awareness. Other thoughts are just passing by. Just like this cloud. Now suddenly a ray of light is coming from the top. A ray of light from my almighty. It's coming from the top. And just falling on me. Golden rays are falling on me. Healing me. Giving me energy. Showing me a higher vision. Which is going to increase my strength. The ray of light is connecting me to the Supreme. I am complete. I am energized. I'm ready to take up new responsibilities. In a much more easier manner, flexible manner. The rays of light is completing me, filling me up with love. Peace, happiness, purity, knowledge, Slowly, I'm passing this energy to everyone around me, to my people in my house, in my office, everywhere. I'm feeling gratitude towards the nature. I'm thankful to the nature. To my Almighty, to everyone who helped me today, and I'm sorry to those people to whom I had some issues with. I just want to close the chapter. By just thinking about them, telling sorry, and just leaving it as though a cloud passing by. The cloud has gone, the thought has gone, the day has gone. Now I'm coming back to my place, to myself, taking control over myself. Opening my eyes, rubbing my hand, putting it onto my face.
thanks everyone thanks for joining in the session i hope you enjoyed the meditation and the session and if you have any doubts you can message me or call me or if you want to know more about ramayan uh, do let me know i can let you know give you more insight probably not in the session or not in the next session but if you want to learn about it you can just message me i can tell you more about that as well even mahabharata we have in a decoded form and if you have any other doubts related to mindfulness ritual meditation you can put it in the group uh, we have a whatsapp group 